Well, happy first day of school to the kids in the Littleton Elementary District. More students are going to be heading back to class, you know, right, in the weeks to come. Some may not have everything they need, and that's where our Danielle Lerner comes in. Here to explain the unique way one organization is uplifting Arizona students. Yeah, hey guys, it is back to school time, so what better place to be than on a bus, right? I'm joined by Amy Runyon, CEO of Assistance League Phoenix. And Amy, we are rolling out, or you are rolling out, I should say, Operation School Bell. This is one of your brand new buses. Can you tell me a little bit about what you guys are rolling out here? Absolutely, welcome aboard the brand new AZ Diamondbacks Delivering Dreams bus. We're about ready to hit the road as soon as school starts next week to serve 10,000 kids this year. We're so excited. Yeah, and you guys have so much stuff on this bus. We're going to give you a look uh, at home at just some of the things that students get to choose from. But Amy, walk me through all of the choices and options that you have for students. Absolutely. So this year we're going to serve over 100 Title I schools, Greater Phoenix area. Um, as I said, 10,000 students will be able to come up the stairs of this bus, come on, and they're going to try on everything to make sure it fits. They're they're going to get bottoms, tops, underwear, socks, shoes, belts, sweatshirt, health kit, and if they need a mask, we have those too. Um, and also, you know, Amy, you and I were talking about the pandemic obviously changed so much about education, about how schools were operating, but you guys have really adapted. You've changed some things around. Tell me a little bit about what you've done now to support students uh, as they go back to school now, some of them in person for the first time in a while. Absolutely. You know, one of the things we found out last school year was that kids sitting at home didn't need to be in a uniform. So we quickly pivoted and we invested in some casual tops and bottoms. And that was a great change. It was something we were looking forward to doing maybe years out brought it a lot closer and now we're able to serve those schools that are non-uniform as well as the kiddos that are going to be staying at home still this year too. Yeah, really branching out to serve as many students as possible. I have to get back here. This was something that I thought was so cool. All of these shoe options back here. I mean, it really does look like a, a shoe store. If you come on back here, I know it's a little tight, but you have different colors, different options, different designs. Tell me the purpose of creating these options for kids and how important that is. Yeah, you know, this it's really important to us that each year there are different colors and different styles for the kids to pick from. We don't want them to stand out as the kids that are in need of these clothing items. We want them to look and feel like the cool kids on campus. So we've designed some really unique shoes, and this year um, we have the retro d backs inspired oh, shoe, yes. which we're really <laughs> excited about. Um, we have that also in a lace-up as well for kids that love the D-backs. And then for our kiddos that love football, we have an original Fiesta Bowl shoe. Love it. And these are things that you can't buy in a store. So these kids are going to be able to stand out in a great way as having fun, unique items so that they can fit in and feel great going back to school. Yeah, and we know it's so important that students are fed, uh, that they feel good about what they're wearing as they head back. So real quick, most important question I have, if folks out there, they see what you're doing and they want to get involved, how can they help you in your mission? Absolutely. We always need volunteers. So please email us at volunteer at alphx.org for corporate groups, community volunteers. We need your help. We really thrive on our volunteers and that's what really helps us to enable to spend every dollar, make sure that it goes really far. And for those people that can't afford to give, only $10 is what buys a brand new pair of shoes for a child in need. So it's a small investment for some people, but it's a really big reward for the kids that get these shoes. And I just wanna say, probably 85% of the, percent of the kids that we serve are wearing up to two sizes too small. So think about that. So $10 yeah. can provide a brand new pair of shoes. And it is amazing just how much you're able to stretch the donations that do come in. Amy, thank you so much for spending time with us today, for showing us around Operation School Bell, getting ready to roll out to schools next week. We'll send it back to you. I mean, that's an organization you wanna help. 10 bucks to help these kids, yes. Okay, a reminder, by the way, with it being back to school season, we want to see your first day of school photos easy to share with us because we want to share them with everybody else. Send them to share at ABC15.com. Iris, that's just how we are. We like I to share the good stuff. We love all those photos that come in.